Hi there! Did you know that you can adapt the brightness and color temperature of your lights using Home Assistant based on the position of the sun? This helps in maintaining your biological clock and might lead to improved sleep, mood and general well-being. For instance, you can set the brightness to maximum on sunrise and to let's say 50% at sunset. But you can also start increasing the brightness and color temperature gradually at sunrise so that it follows the position of the sun. The same counts for sunset. Let me show you how to do this in this Home Assistant tutorial. I got some questions about how to set up adaptive lightning using Home Assistant. This certainly can be done and it's not that difficult. For instance, my bedroom light is bright white during the day and after sunset it has a cozy red color. <clears throat> so, when I switch the lights on, Home Assistant will check what time of day it is and sets the bedroom lights bright or cozy automatically. But, that are only two settings. Wouldn't it be great if the brightness and color temperature of the lights in your house adapt automatically to the position of the sun? Yes, that is also possible to set up in Home Assistant using a hex integration. In this video, I will show you how to manually set up the brightness and color temperature of your lights. And next to that, I will also show you how to make the brightness and color temperature of your lights adapt gradually based on the position of the sun. First, let me show you the use cases. The starting points. During the day, the brightness of the lights is high. The color temperature of the lights is high. During the night, the brightness of the lights is low and the color temperature of the lights is low. The first use case is set the color temperature and brightness of lights manually when motion is detected using one automation. So we are going to create this manually in Home Assistant. When the sun is above the horizon, then set the brightness to 100% and set the color temperature to 4000 Kelvin. When the sun is below the horizon, then set the brightness to 50% and set the color temperature to 2400 Kelvin. Then the second use case. Set the color temperature and brightness of lights automatically based on the position of the sun. At sunrise, Start increasing the brightness gradually and start increasing the color temperature gradually. When the sun is setting, start decreasing the brightness gradually and start decreasing the color temperature gradually. Now, let's set this up. So, for the first use case, we go to Settings, Automations and Scenes, and I already created the automation. Let's edit this and I'll go through it one by one. So we have a name, we have a description, mode is single, and now we go to triggers. And I'm going to use trigger IDs again. So if you want to know what trigger IDs are, check my video on that. The link is in the description below. We have a trigger type device. I gave it the trigger ID motion detected. The device is hold downstairs motion sensor. And the trigger is hold downstairs motion sensor occupancy started detecting motion. Then we have another trigger that is called motion stopped. The device is again hold downstairs motion sensor and then the trigger is about stopping detecting motion. And what you see here is that I'm only going to do something when the motion has stopped for five minutes. Then I don't have conditions and now we go to the actions. First we start with the choose action. And the choose action has a couple of options. Option one has conditions. It's triggered by motion detected. So the trigger ID motion detected. Then it has another condition. It's checking if the sun is above horizon. In that case, we have an action that's calling a service light turn on. And in my case, it is the entity hall downstairs. And what you see there is that the color temperature is being set to 4000 Kelvin and the brightness is being set to 100%. Then we go to the next option. Again, it's triggered by a trigger motion detected, 
but now it's checking also if the sun is below the horizon, so at night. Then the next action is going to take place. Again, a call service light turn on. The entity is hauled downstairs. And now you see that the color temperature is set to 2400 Kelvin and the brightness is set to 50%. And then we have another option, which is triggered by the trigger ID motion stopped. So when the motion detector stopped detecting motion for five minutes, then we are going to say call the service light turn off. And the entity here is the hole downstairs again. So basically what this automation does is that during the day it sets the brightness to 100% and the color temperature to 4000 Kelvin. And during the night it sets the brightness to 50% and the color temperature to 2400 Kelvin. Now let's head over to the next use case. By the way, if my videos help you and if you want to keep up to date with my tutorials and not miss anything to increase your knowledge of Home Assistant and Smart Home, subscribe to my channel and tick the notification bell. You can also help by clicking the thumbs up button for this video. This allows me to create more tutorials for you. Thank you. The next use case is about setting the brightness of your lights and the color temperature of your lights based on the position of the sun. For that you need a HEX integration. If you haven't got HEX installed, I have a video about that and the link is in the description below. So let's go there. So for that we go to HEX and in HEX we go to integrations and in integrations we can add a new integration which is called adaptive lighting. So the adaptive lighting integration is built by Bas Nijholt and this is the site for that. The link is in the description below. Um, and this shows all the information about that integration, but I will show you during installation what everything is. So you can copy this link over here and now you go to HEX. And in HEX you can go to the three dots here and you can go to custom repositories and you can add that repository by pasting the link here. Category is integration. Click on add. And it might be that it says repository Bas Nijholt Adaptive Lightning exists in the store. I think the repository is standard already in HEX, but the documentation still says that you have to add it manually. So that's why I'm doing this. Now we are going to close this. And now we are going to explore and download repositories. Search for repository adaptive lighting and then click on it. Then we can choose for download this repository in HEX. Click on download. Current version is 1.0.15, but you can choose the latest version. So now it's installed in HEX, but it is waiting for a restart for Home Assistant. So let's restart Home Assistant. Let's go to Settings, go to System, click on Restart. We're going to restart Home Assistant. Now we wait. So Home Assistant has restarted. Now we have to install Adaptive Lighting in Home Assistant. For that, we go to Settings. Then you go to Devices and Services. There we go to Add Integration. Then we are going to search for Adaptive and click on Adaptive Lighting. So let me explain this first. For every light or light group in your house that you want to have Adaptive Lighting working for, you need to create an instance to make sure that Adaptive Lighting works for that light or light group. So I'm going to call this, in my case, Kitchen because I have some kitchen spots that I want to have working with adaptive lighting. Click Submit, Finish, and now you see that I have four entities for adaptive lighting for my kitchen. If I click on those four entities, you see I have four switches. I have a switch adaptive lighting, adapt brightness kitchen. I have a switch adaptive lighting, adapt color kitchen. 
I have a switch adaptive lighting sleep mode kitchen and I have a switch adaptive lighting kitchen. So let's open the first switch. And what this switch is doing that you switch on adaptive lighting for the brightness in the kitchen. It's switched on by default, which is fine with me. The second one, adaptive color for the kitchen. What this does is that it switches on the adaptive color temperature for the kitchen, which is default on on and that's also fine with me. Then the sleep mode. This switch is turned off by default, but if you switch this on, then it switches on to sleep mode and we can set the variables for the color temperature and the brightness later for the sleep mode. So I'll leave this to off now and then switch adaptive lighting kitchen. This switch is on adaptive lighting on or off as a whole. So I'll leave this to on too. Now let's go back. Now we are going to click on configure. And what I can do here is that I can select lights for this adaptive lighting entity. So I'm going to select the kitchen lights. Let's see, where are they? Here, light.kitchen. And this is a light group that contains all my spots. So that's fine. So I can select multiple, but I only have to select one here. Then you have the option prefer RGB color. And that one is something that you can choose if your light bulbs are color light bulbs. Mine are not color light bulbs for the kitchen, so I'm not going to check this. Initial transition in seconds, I'll leave that to one. Sleep transition when the sleep state changes, also in seconds, I'll leave that to one too. You can also change this so that when you go to sleep state, it transitions really slow. Transition time when applying a change to the lights, uh, I'll leave that to 45 seconds. Interval time between switch updates, 90 seconds, I'll leave that too. And now I'm going to change something. Minimum brightness, I'm not going to set that to 0%, but let's say to 15%. Maximum brightness, I'm going to say it's going to be 100%. Minimum color temperature, I'm going to leave that to 2000. And the maximum color temperature, I'm going to leave that to 5500 Kelvin. Then the sleep brightness, I'm going to leave that as is. Sleep color temperature is 1000 Kelvin, I'll leave that too. Then the sunrise time, manual override of the sunrise time, I'll leave it to none so that the sunrise time that home assistant detects. I can also change that in a time if I want to have the transition start on a specific time. Sunrise offset. How long before or after to define the sunrise point of the cycle? So I can add or subtract some seconds for that. I'm leaving that too. Manual over override of the sunset time, same thing. And also sunset offset, also the same thing. Then there are four other options. Only once is only adapt the lights when turning them on. I'm not going to choose that because I want this to work every time. And what I'm going to choose is take over control. If anything but adaptive lightning calls light turn on when a light is already on, stop adapting that light until it or the switch toggles off to on. So that means that I can take over the control of my lights myself and it will stop the adaptive lighting temporarily. Then detect non-HA changes. It detects changes that are done by external applications. I'm also leaving that to off. And you also have the option separate turn on commands, which separates the commands for each attribute, color brightness, etc. in light turn on. Uh, that's required for some lights, but it's not for my lights. So I'll leave it like this. Now I'm going to click on submit. Options are successfully saved. And now the adaptive lighting for my kitchen works. So in the morning, the lights in my kitchen will have a low brightness value and a low color temperature and will slowly increase based on the position of the sun. 
and in the evening it will slowly decrease the brightness level and the Kelvin value based on the position in the zone. So let's add another one for instance for my bathroom. For that we go again to add integration, select adaptive lighting and I'm going to call this one bathroom, submit, finish and now you see I have bathroom and kitchen over here. So now I'm going to click on bathroom, click configure and on lights I'm going to select the lights for my bathroom. I also can select the spots but light.bathroom is a light group so that is fine with me. Then I'm going to change the minimum brightness to 15% and the rest I will leave default. Click on submit. And now I've set up adaptive lighting for my bathroom too. So that's how easy you can set up adaptive lighting for your lights in your house in Home Assistant. This was my tutorial on adaptive lighting in Home Assistant. I hope it has been of some use to you and that it has inspired you to make interesting automations yourself. Please let me know in the comments. Your support allows me to make new videos all the time. You can support me by becoming my patron, buying me a cup of coffee or joining this channel. The links for this can be found in the description of this video. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and check the notification bell. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye bye!